And now, if I could just borrow a stick for a moment. Sorry about that. Uh, it's so good. Could you redo that? Let me fix it. Yeah, sorry about that. Okay, so uh, this is a new video. I don't do drum stuff. I play guitar. But I recently purchased a used Alesis uh, a mesh, surge mesh kit. Surge. Not a nitro. Uh, not the other one. This is the third one up. This is the th surge kit. You can still get these used, uh, new. I got this one complete. Everything came with it except the drum key, which I got for three bucks. For three hundred dollars, uh, so you can still get these for about six fifty, seven, seven fifty, something like that. So I got this because my buddy was coming to town and uh, we wanted to jam, and he was willing to bring his whole drum kit. And I was like, no, 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 man, we can, I can find an inexpensive kit, pick up. So I got this kit, three hundred dollars. So everything in this video really uh, is has to do with exactly what comes with this kit. He did bring his double kick. Uh, and it does work perfectly beautifully with a double kick again. Remember this is a review of a pretty well used Alicia Alesis surge mesh kit, so um, All right, so my buddy's here and what I wanted to do was like in typical practical J just my two cents fashion uh, Let's talk really practically about what you would get with this kit and what a drummer thinks about this kit. literally when he saw he's been playing it for for a couple of days now, when he when he first started to where we're at right now is what this video is about. Incidentally, I'm using a crate acoustic amplifier over there as our monitor, and uh, the echo you're hearing a little echo. I'll go turn that off real quick uh, from this mic. Okay, so just a quick view of uh, the kit while I try and turn that echo off. I'll leave a little bit on just for color. Okay, so. Uh, like I said, the only thing that didn't come with this is this double kick right here. Uh, this walked around. He needed to modify the angle here uh, of the Alesis um, kick unit right there. So yeah, we added it. We added a couple of weights right here behind it on the you know this dedicated carpet pad, and uh, that locked it down fine. So he's able to use his double kick on this. Um, uh, let's get started, my friend. Come on in, have a seat. When you first saw this, what what is the first thing you were looking for? What's the first question? You're like, you walk down the stairs, you're like, oh my god, my buddy's bought this. What have I got to work with here? What what were you looking for just right off the bat? Uh, well, <clears throat> well, this new kit, it's, it's pretty nice. So, it's got it's on a it's on a rack, power rack. You know, that's all. Everybody knows that's a good foundation. So the configuration's five piece, uh, two racks one floor tom and the snare the snare drum and the snare drum we didn't measure it but it's probably probably a 10 inch yeah, i think that's a 10 and the others are eights and these are eights and and if i've got a complaint let's get them out of the way if we will uh the, the floor tom should be this 10 inch just like this snare it's a you know we all should be able to hit a you know hit a quarter be able to hit a quarter, but well, I can't hit a quarter. Um, I'm lucky to hit the drum itself. But and then and, and on this size of floor tom with this little eight inch piece here, I have hit the rim. And but luckily, on all of these, no matter what you hit, it has a a, a, a dual sound uh, with the rims. Dual zone. Yep, so the, the head makes a sound, and no matter where you hit the head, it's the same sound. Uh, and, and, but you hit these rims, and, and they make a sound too. So just about 30 minutes ago, I changed these rims. Uh, they were like a wood block or something, but I kept clacking these rims, so now I just I changed the, rim, uh, the rims so it's the same so uh, so sound as the tom. <coughs> So now when I'm, if I'm whacking it wrong, you know, I get the cheek, I still get the same sound. Uh, and we haven't played with it like this yet, but uh, I know that's going to benefit me. So. Well, to that point. And the listener. Oh, yeah, and the listener, exactly. To that point, there's been a lot of, um, 
I guess if there's one thing that I read most or heard most about this this particular kit or all these Elisa entry level kits is that this head unit doesn't sound very good. Now I don't have anything to compare this to other than my buddy. He's got a really nice, really nice DW set and a really nice vintage Yamaha recording set. So he knows what good drums sound like. And we're both, he's been tweaking on this for two days. And we're both like, I'm totally blown away at what this actually sounds like. I mean, well, it's electronic drums, so you can make them sound whatever. You know, we could have timbales up here or, or, or make, uh, everything you touch could be a bell. Right. So, you know, they have some pretty cool sounds. They, they sound realistic. And, but what I like about it is, uh, <clears throat> you know, when f said he had an electronic kit, I said, okay, well, I'll bring my hi-hat. Because, you know, most electronic kits you run across, unless it's someone that's got a real expensive one, uh, the hi-hat doesn't work right. <laughs> So, but this one does, uh, and, and it's pretty cool. And it gives you a, 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 once you get used to it a little bit, it gives you a realistic feeling. And it's not as dialed in as well as your hi-hat by any means, but there is a level of it being, being usable uh, as normal. You can get a kind of a normal feel out of it uh, without much work. Uh, it's still not as good as a hi-hat, but I mean... And you said something about like it's got different levels in it? Or you've been able to find... It, it oh, yeah. So, <clears throat> the dynamics on it, uh, uh, the ceiling's really tall, so you can hit it soft. Uh, uh, if you want to see here, we'll go through a range real quick. Of, uh, and I've got, I've got the hi-hat closed. And, and I'll start so soft that, you, that, we, that it doesn't make a sound. Pretty big range, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, for, Dynamically. A piece, for a piece of rubber, I mean, I, I, and you were talking that same thing. I want you to do the same thing you were doing on the heads earlier. You were doing that same kind of thing. All right, well, let's and do I was like, I thought, I was like, well, sure, I get it with the heads, but I just thought a piece of rubber was just a trigger. It's cool that you can get that kind of range. Okay, so the hi hat itself with the pedal. So you, you've got it closed, and then you just let off a little bit. And it gives you open. So <clears throat> that's it. There's no in between. It, it goes from. So you can you can hear that gap in there if you really listen. Uh, but you can overcome it with a bunch of loud noise, you know, and guitars and everything. There you go. So you, you really can. And uh, so the third level of it is completely open. And it, and it still has all the complete dynamics. You gotta understand, he's a drummer. He sat and did this for like 20 minutes, just talking about the video. Do the um, do the heads too, man. You know, you guys got a drummer. You know exactly what we're dealing with here. So it works. You know, you can work with it. So, what do you want to know now? I was, <laughs> I was saying. Do the one, do that same thing on the heads. That was pretty cool. When the first time you did that, I was like, "Wow, that's that's actually pretty freaking cool." Yeah, and you can tune the heads to make them a little bit tighter for your feel, or or or, or have them loose, <clears throat> and they they give a good feedback, especially if you got this great monitor that got set up. This great monitor is right in my face. Uh, you know, 
I mean, you, you can you get feedback and you feel it all. Uh, so, <clears throat> as far as the sensitivity goes, it's deep. So, uh, we'll start with the snare drum. I'm hearing like three different sounds when you're doing that. There's like a range, like a third of it is like tight, and then a third of it opens up, and then when you're smacking the heck out of it, it sounds like there's a ring or something that's introduced. I could be just imagining that, but well, that's pretty freaking cool. And that's kind of a natural uh, effect. If you, if you whack your snare, uh, your uh, an acoustic snare the same way, it's gonna whack and give you some rings and all kinds of extra sounds, okay. depending on how hard you're hitting it. Okay. So this thing is, uh, man, it, it sells it pretty well. It, but the thing is, is, it feels good. So the dynamics that you're normally doing on, at, at home on, on your on your kit, uh, and then you get come and, and got to sit down on these, you can still apply those dynamics, and that's. That's, that's it, without it sounding so electronic, you know, because the levels are smooth, and and, and there's and there's a lot of of them. Well, and I want to say again, I don't know if we tried this take this a couple of times. I'm not sure what we've said and which one yet, but I, a lot of people complain about the sound of these this head unit, and he's had this for two days. We've been jamming on this together for two days now, and um, I mean, yeah, I mean, this freaking sounds freaking amazing to me for an electronic drum set that's 300 bucks used and let me tell you he is whacking the living snot out of this when we're playing i mean he's throwing all kinds of stuff at it and i mean it looks like the day i brought it home and it looked used when i brought it home and it looks exactly the same i mean it's just like holds up like a champ i couldn't be happier with this investment of an elisus elisus uh surge mesh kit um, it's pretty cool. Let's see. Oh, look. See, yeah, that's even upside down. I'm just going to let him Hear play. That? Perf- yeah, I, I do. That's, that's crazy, point. man. I've never heard one with that with that smooth and that tall of a ceiling. You know, usually they have like four levels or something, or five maybe. Uh-huh. This, is, this has got like, feel, it feels like it's got like ten. Maybe I'm deaf. Maybe it doesn't, <laughs> but it, it feels like it to me. It, it, it feels pretty accurate with what you're doing. This is just a straight head. He's just tuned this. He added like some lower sum and I mean, he's got this thing tweaked out. It's nice. Okay, uh, cymbals. Cymbals, yeah. So this one over here, it does one thing. Uh, and, but the only thing it can offer is dynamics. And the different setting, obviously. Yeah, you can change it. You can make it sound like a bass drum if you want to, but uh, but the dynamics on the cymbals are excellent. Listen to this. Now you have to have a lot of control when you're playing that, which you know I'm whacking them. So, but it still it it, it takes it, it has dynamics while you're whacking them even. So. And you can turn that into a ride symbol, whatever you want. So, but that's all this one does. This one over here, it has the same dynamic range, but this one has a special gift of being able to choke it. Isn't that cool? It's handy. 
So anyway, uh, that's what that, that one offers. So, but it's excellent uh, and apparently very durable because uh, uh, a drummer was using it and, and got a new kit and, yeah, that's how I got it. and then scored and, and, and picked this up. So one man's junk's another man's treasure. And so far this is a jewel. And by the way, I have not uh, taken my hi-hat stand out of the bag yet. And that was the first thing he said, man. He's like, well, I'm going to bring my hi-hat. I was like, it's got one. He's like, yeah, I'm bringing my hi-hat. Oh, we haven't talked about the kick. Oh, yeah, the kick. All yeah. right, so I don't know how many levels it has, more than I do, but... So it's pretty deep, you know. Hmm. I mean, the tone doesn't vary per se, like you're on different spots on the head, but the volume completely changes, and you can hear the character change. I mean, it tonally it it shifts when you hit harder. I can tell the difference. So it doesn't matter if you bury the your beater or if you if you bounce off of it you know uh, for those of you know, who know it makes a little bigger boom if you get the beater off of the head quickly if you bury it it's tighter this one doesn't seem to matter same sound but it does offer uh, beautiful dynamics and it feels tight as it could be uh, so yeah, do the double. And, and, it doesn't but, come with a double kick, but you know. Uh, well, I mean, I'm not a double kick player. I, I use it to uh, fill in some gaps. So, uh, but it, I mean, this is just a great kit. I didn't catch that. Damn, sorry, man. You guys, you guys. I whacked the microphone with a stick. Sorry about that. <laughs> well, can you think of anything else? I mean, again, you walked in cold. You saw the set. Uh, yeah, a big bonus. Big, big, huge bonus is the whole reason for electronics. Last night, sent the, one of the wives outside to see if we were irritating the neighbors. And we had this room filled up with sound. She went outside and said you couldn't hear a word. So the impact uh, <clears throat> that these have of the, of the thunder and the thud that, that acoustic drums uh, present, this doesn't have that because it's only coming from, uh, you know, your amp and your subs uh, or, you know, your speakers. Well, yeah, we're running a PA with sub over here. Yeah, so you can turn that up as loud or soft as you want. You're still getting the same you know, vibe and everything. In fact, uh, I'm running all of this uh, through a uh, MG10XU uh, mixer, and uh, I'm already set up. We haven't tried it yet, but uh, we're going to try it tonight. I'm set up here on the mixer with the monitor split out, so we're going to just turn the PA completely off late at night tonight, and uh, I've got a lead run over for his monitors. I'm playing guitar. We both have mics so we can talk and I can sing and uh, all the guitars are electric so we'll literally be jamming to ourselves in full stereo uh, in an almost absolute silence tonight so with this setup which is why we wanted to get the drums in the first place and took a shot on an Alesis Surge Mesh Kit say that ten times fast and uh, I don't know man I'm glad thank you so much uh, for uh, the review and helping us answer I think what's probably going to be some really practical questions for drummers um, I can't offer much support on this one, everybody, but I hope this video has been helpful. Hey, it's inspiring. A, it's man. a great set. Thanks, man. Hey, everybody.